What's up, guys? This, this is a little something different than what I, I usually put up. This is going to be my entry for Evan Eckerd's uh, Black Ops 2 design competition. Um, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with Evan Eckerd, please get familiar with him. <laughs> he is an amazing graphic designer, and I've been following him for a while. Uh, pretty much pretty much around the time he started putting up YouTube videos and this guy is awesome and actually I think he should be watching this because I'm putting this in his competition Evan if you are watching I'm a big fan of yours not to the point where you need to be worried about your safety or anything but hey I just want to let you know you're awesome <laughs> um, anyway guys if I sound like I'm calm in any way Please don't be deceived. I've been <laughs> running like a frantic person trying to get this video up in time. I don't know if it's going to get up in time uh, for the deadline. I'm not sure what time the deadline is, but I know Evan said we got like three hours. Um, and that was about three hours ago. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this video done and up so I can enter the contest. But let me give you guys a little background what I'm going for. So... In case you don't know, this is a, it's supposed to be a background for um, the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And it looks like the game is going to be, it looks like it's going to be set in the future. So what I'm going for is basically kind of, I'm going for a futuristic kind of look. I want it to, I, I want this to actually be a tablet like it would be like a tablet that the soldiers would use the future soldiers um, kind of what they would use to give take orders um, have access to their database of everything that's going down so um, what you're seeing here is it's a glass pane the tablet consists of a glass pane and the corners are some kind of metal. I'm not sure what kind of metal that is. Some kind of black, shiny metal. Maybe it's set in the future, so maybe they discovered some new kind of element. So let's go with that. And then um, I want it to be comfortable to use, so I added some grips. That's what the grips are. The grips are grips. <laughs> and what you're seeing right now, this is going to be this is the center title. Um, I went with kind of a similar similar font to what they usually use for Call of Duty and then for the Black Ops I changed it up a little um, so yeah so basically you know this is the tablet and I want it just to to look like um, something where you you basically control things by these different windows so the center window is basically just displaying the the title and you're about to see in a minute what the other the other windows are so this window is kind of the for the purpose of, of just text and different uh, activity that's going on so you see you see the the uh, text I put in there threat detected um, firewall breached uh, and you know target acquired basically I saw that the that in the the story of Black Ops 2, it looks like someone is taking over the U.S. intelligence and military. So I'm kind of I'm kind of I got a little story in this one. So the story basically is you know the the enemy is kind of taking over our intelligence. So that explains the threat, firewall breach, target acquire kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's stupid. Maybe you guys like it. I don't know. I just thought it was fun. Throw a little story in here, and the other the other side is going to be basically just um, like weapon choices. You can I don't know. Maybe I would I would think if you click if you touch that it's a touch screen tablet, of course. So if you touch that, you can get information on your guns or or maybe request um, upgraded guns. I don't know. It could be used for anything. This is the future, for goodness sakes. Um, let's see. So what you're looking at now, I kind of put a little, kind of like a glossy, uh, glossy thing on the front to make it look, 
very nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so kind of a hex hexagonal, I think you'd call it, hexagonal pattern. Um, but uh, but yeah, I thought the hexagonal pattern would kind of be the the touch sensors. Um, but anyway, guys, this is my first speed art. I hope you guys liked it. I've been messing with Photoshop for you know a little under a year now, and I'm really enjoying it. And I want to thank Evan for all of his tutorials. They're awesome. Um, Evan, if you're watching this, thank you so much for all the time you put in your videos. They are awesome. Um, but guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.